I'm Samantha Rawls. I was born and raised in Brownsville, Texas. I've been creating art um, since middle school. So since I was 12 years old, I found myself not liking anything at all. And I feel, I felt more like I want to do art. This is what I want to concentrate from here till the end of time, you know? I didn't say I was amazing, but I felt right. It felt right to continue on to high school. I was encouraged more by teachers like, hey, like, this is, you know, I see you doing this. Here's a, here's this book about this artist. And I was like, what? <laughs> so I started seeing, knowing more about like Salvador Dali, you know, he was the first artist. I came to see all his um, artwork and then Picasso. And then I started noticing more like uh, Van Gogh. And I, you can see some of my work that it has that pattern, you know, it, it's just very repetitive and it, it kind of therapeutic at the same time just to just to keep going. And once I joined the military, I joined as a combat medic. Um, I somehow ended up in photography and I was just like, whoa, like, I went through all these courses and now, you know, the universe somehow like landed me here. Once I left the military, I was like, so now what? <laughs> what do I do? So I came back to school and I chose art. I couldn't find myself anywhere else. What inspired me to make this art was, it came from drawing the female figure a different perspective. Staying away from that male gaze, usually when you see art, it's, it's more thin, more uh, mainstream attractive. And I wanted to focus more on how real women look, you know, not everybody's going to have that, you know, sleek body. You know, we come with imperfections, we have curves here and there, and, you know, sometimes stretch marks, you know, we have stretch marks. So I wanted to involve that aspect, you know, I wanted to sh showcase more full-figured women. I incorporate the full-figure and I then lay out a pattern. The pattern usually camouflages the body or it brings it forward for the audience to view it. And usually what that, um, that means that suggests, you know, we tend to either hide our bodies to not show the imperfections or, you know, we try to bring out the best of what we have. But in the end, I feel like we should just accept who we are you know, if we do want to change, do it for ourselves. Something that I want people to take away from my work is that when you see it, you know, it, you're not seeing something that is not attainable. You know, you, it's something that you see every day. You know, it's a body that you can recognize, that you see in the street, you know, you can see within your family or you can see, you know, when you meet somebody. It's not something like, from the TV and they look beautiful or I believe they look beautiful you know my opinion and and it wasn't always like that you know I didn't believe that when I was growing up there was always this a stigma I guess or this you know you have to be look a certain way to be successful in life and uh, when I was a teenager especially when I was a teenager I was a little overweight you know, <laughs> it was chubby, and uh, um, everybody in my family, they were like, you know, you should lose weight, and I was just like, okay. <laughs> but, you know, I, I recognized that I wasn't big, and I don't know, I still don't understand why I was told that. It sort of comes from that, you know, you tell these kids they're getting big, and, and <laughs> you look years later, and you're like, no. Like, why was I so worried about that? I should have just enjoyed you know more it shouldn't and and us all like it kind of you know you hide yourself more and you hide yourself with big jackets because they tell you you don't want to be hearing that all the time so so my art sort of stems from that you know you know i had to kind of flush my, my body so i can bring more of myself you know bring about what I thought was the best qualities when, and in reality you know you are your best quality your personality the way you are the way you treat people and so on and so forth <laughs>